Podcast. Good morning and welcome to another InvestorIdeas.com podcast, looking at cannabis news, stocks to watch, as well as insights from thought leaders and experts. Today's podcast was sponsored by Kelowna-based Lexaria Bioscience Corporation, trading on the CSC under the symbol LXX and on the OTC as LXRP. Lexaria has developed a new distributive drug delivery platform, Dehydratech. The company's patented technology changes the way active pharmaceutical ingredients, APIs, enter the body orally. It both masks unwanted tastes and eliminates the need for sugar-filled edibles, reduces the time of onset, the effects are felt within 15 to 20 minutes versus 60 to 120 minutes, it avoids first-pass liver metabolism, and increases bioabsorption by 5 to 10 times. The company's Dehydratech trademark technology is patent-protected for multiple APIs, CBD, THC, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, nicotine, and fat-soluble vitamins. Learn more about Lexaria at www.lexariabioscience.com. Today we will be looking at announcements from Kronos Group Incorporated trading on the NASDAQ and TSX as Kron, Emblem Corporation trading on the TSX Venture as EMC and the OTCBV as EMMBF, Invictus MD Strategies Corporation trading on the TSX Venture as Gene and the OTC as IVITF, Namaste Technologies Incorporated trading on the TSX Venture as N, and True Leaf Medicine International Limited trading on the CSE as MJ and the OTCQB as TRLFF. First, looking at Kronos Group Incorporated, who announced today that it's entered into a joint venture partnership with a group of investors led by Burt Musi, one of Canada's most sophisticated greenhouse operators and builders. This partnership will function through a newly formed entity, Kronos Growing Company Incorporated, which will develop, construct, and operate a state-of-the-art purpose-built greenhouse for cannabis production in Kingsville, Ontario. Kronos Grow Company is a 50-50 partnership between the company and the greenhouse partners. It will leverage over three decades of Burt Musi's experience in designing, building, and operating sophisticated large-scale greenhouses. Burt Musi has a long history of greenhouse growing experience and will bring a wealth of knowledge and experience to this collaboration. He has made significant contributions to the horticulture industry in Canada, including investments in innovative technologies and environmental stewardship. With a proven track record of growth and expansion in vertically integrated operations from seed to package, Burt Musi has overseen thousands of employees and over 200 acres of fruit and vegetable greenhouses in southwestern Ontario. Next, we look to Emblem Corporation, who announced today that it's making a strategic equity investment in Natura Naturals Incorporated, a 662,000 square foot licensed greenhouse cultivator of medical cannabis, pursuant to Health Canada's access to cannabis for medical purposes regulations. The companies have also signed a three-year cannabis supply agreement to provide Emblem up to 3,000 kilograms of high-quality cannabis flower per year from Natura's Phase 1 cultivation facility. Based in Learnington, Ontario, Natura employs proprietary processes to produce high-quality cannabis in its state-of-the-art greenhouse facilities. The first 155,000 square feet of the facility is currently being converted as part of its Phase 1 retrofit. It is expected to be complete in August of this year and capable of producing 15,000 kilograms of cannabis per year. The Phase 2 conversion will retrofit the remaining 507,000 square feet, for cannabis cultivation, it is expected to bring total production capacity to approximately 70,000 kilograms per year by mid-2019. Natural holds a genetic library of 32 cannabis strains, which will be made available to Emblem. Post-closing, Emblem will own approximately 5% of Natra's outstanding shares on a non-diluted basis and 7% on a fully diluted basis. Closing of the equity investment is subject to customary conditions and is expected to close later this week. Next, we look to Invictus MD Strategies Corporation, who announced that further to its news release dated May 16th of this year, it has successfully entered into a definitive option agreement with a late-stage applicant under the Access to Cannabis for Medical Purposes regulations to acquire 100% of the outstanding shares of Option Co. from its current shareholders. Option Co. has a cannabis production and research facility located in Delta, B.C., and an additional property located in Mission, B.C. that is currently awaiting construction of a 350,000 square foot purpose-built indoor facility, which will be built in multiple phases with completion set for the fourth quarter of 2019. 
The mission location is located on 32 acres of buildable land, and the property is eligible for wholesale energy costs with 38 megawatts service at the property line and access to an ample water supply from the underground aquifers. The Delta facility has completed its pre-licensed inspection from Health Canada and expects to receive its license to cultivate medical cannabis under the ACMPR in short order. Next, we look at Namaste Technologies Incorporated, who announced that the company has signed an e-commerce and technology services agreement with Blissco Cannabis Corporation Incorporated, trading on the CNSX under BLIS, whereby Namaste will provide services including access to Namaste's technology platforms, software integration, and e-commerce services, including those powered by Namaste's e-commerce artificial intelligence platform, findify.io. Under the terms of this agreement, Namaste will leverage its proprietary technology platforms to develop an innovative online marketplace in partnership with Blisco to enhance Blisco's patient experience. Blisco is a Canadian licensed producer and distributor of high-quality medical cannabis that operates in access to cannabis for medical purposes regulations cultiv- cultivation facility based in Langley, B.C. And finally, we look at True Leaf Medicine International Limited. A plant-forward wellness brand for people and their pets announced today the construction of its cannabis cultivation and production facility, True Leaf Campus, remains on schedule for fall 2018 completion. The first phase of the project includes a two-story, 9,000-square-foot central hub for the initial grow area, laboratory services, whole plant extraction, and the production of therapeutic cannabis products, followed by a 16,000-square-foot wing for cannabis cultivation. The facility is being built in Lumbee, British Columbia, will be a hub for the development of the company's medicinal cannabis products. That's all for today's podcast. Podcast is now a certified word trademark on the blockchain through Cognate Incorporated CM certification. If you would like to be a guest or sponsor of this podcast, please contact InvestorIdeas.com. Investor Ideas reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on the InvestorIdeas.com website, and this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of investment.